Bonjour, so we are back in Sunset Valley and for this episode the idea is to finish up with that district here and so to do that one house that has a different roof than the other ones. So uh, this house used to be, where was it already? Yeah, I think it was there and I moved it there because it looked more modern than the other two nearby. Not, I'm not comparing it to this one. I've done this one before, so I know what it is. <laughs> it looked like it would fit better in that neighborhood. So I've never done the house before, but I know a bit about the household, even though I've never played with them. I've seen them around. So Fiona, Mike, Irish, and her daughter, River, and then Fiona's best friend, Molly, and her daughter, I don't remember the name of her daughter. Was it Sandy? I think. I'm going to say Sandy. <laughs> Not sure. Uh, we'll see that. As usual, I'm going to do a quick makeover of the different themes there. A CC free one, so it's going to be a very quick one. Even quicker for the toddler. There's not that, that many choices there. It's Fiona's house. So, the name of the house. Ooh, Asiloma. I don't know. And three bedrooms, two bathrooms. And size 30 by 30, okay. It's big, spacious and comfortable. This contemporary one-story house features soaring ceilings, oh, I've seen them, <laughs> a private deck and a large fenced-in yard. Okay, okay, so let's have a look at the house. I'm kind of tempted to call it like no privacy. <laughs> like you can follow the, the the life of the household like from the street. <laughs> those those windows. I'm going to to remove them and have small ones or or something. Uh, oh my! <laughs> I'm not kidding. We can see everything, even through the door. So yeah. So the first thing I'm going to work on, I'm pretty sure, is going to be the the rooftop. I'm going to try and and rearrange. Let's see. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> uh, so it's one story house, but I can still keep that towerish uh, part here in the entrance. And that's going to be one of the soaring selling, but it doesn't need to be like slanty like that. Here, it's the second tall one, like high, high selling there. Um, the other one are actually at regular level. So, Okay, I'm going to change the the, the roof, uh, the whole uh, roof line. Oh, is that a different color or is that visual effect here? Already the house is going to be different with a different uh, rooftop. So there is no garage, just a carport there. Mm, I'm not sure yet. Uh, depends on the layout inside that I can already see. So, okay, that front porch corner over there. Oh, is that the deck? It wasn't, I don't think it read anything like front deck or back deck. This is not useful. <laughs> so, I might remove it entirely. I'm not sure yet. What is it with uh, houses like that and, and, and plants outside the, the, the yard? I mean, they have a big backyard. Why is it not there? Okay, I mean, even that part here, I can see the, the whole bedroom from there. That's a Peeping Tom dream here. <laughs> That's a new name for the house, Peeping Tom's dream. Another bedroom here, and another one there. So at least no, no view on the bathrooms that I've seen. Okay, so the, the backyard is nice, but again, it's a bit weird to have such a low fence for a tall house, so that I mean, why have a fence then? At least it's totally fenced in. Okay, so inside... Okay... <sighs> so it's not messy per se, it's just... I'm not going to say disorganized, but I feel... I don't know how to explain, but I feel like... I don't know what corner is what, because here we have like the entryway and then there is a chase board right away. There is a couch there, don't know why the toddler's corner here, but there is the TV's corner and and also a toddler corner there. So I'm going to reorganize the space, but I'm thinking of keeping 
the space so it's long quite long like that but i might move things around so yeah that's the bedroom okay so don't like to have the kitchen there because there is a door leading to the bedroom there so yeah i oof <laughs> I'm going to reorganize here. I'm, I'm thinking of having the kitchen there and then it, we can close it off a bit more and then here maybe a family room and here maybe a formal dining and here reorganize the entry with that might be how I do it I'm not sure yet but I'm thinking also I can close it up here to isolate a bit more the two bedrooms here so I'm thinking that this is uh, Molly's bedroom with uh, her baby's uh, bed here and then it must be Rivers and Fiona's. Is there a door? No, no door leading to the deck and the door is there. Let's have an overview. So another thing I've noticed is that the the furnishing is it's very rustic looking like for instance the table with the, the chairs here those stools even the counters and it's a contemporary house so maybe it's a mismatch between the pieces of furniture used there and the type of house so i might change quite a bit these so i'm going to try and keep a few things <laughs> not sure exactly but change a bit so that it still fits and it's a bit less how do i say that how do i put that <laughs> a bit less disorganized let's say i do like the idea having those three blocky colors like that um, but maybe with a more neutral one thrown in the the mix not sure yet but yeah the rooftop is going to be number one <laughs> on my list <laughs> Let's do that. So working on the roof first. Uh, so I ended up keeping that tower-like part with a new window and also lower, lowered it down a notch um, and made it a, a tad narrower from the back. Then I started on the garage. So as the carport was quite close to the edge of the lot, I actually used the space from the house, the part where I thought I might have the kitchen. Well, I turned it into the garage and did a few things with the um, constraint floor elevation there so that it's on a um, split level there. And then worked a bit more on the rooftop. I've actually switched uh, the soaring sailings <laughs> parts uh, in the other side so now the not the part where there was like no sailing um, that's the part well there is one and the part where I'm going to have the kitchen now is the part where there is a high sailing there also uh, as you can see I've actually removed the red siding and instead of having brick walls because I thought that they, it would balance out more the blocky colors, uh, the yellow and the blue there. Uh, so it's a contemporary house, not a modern one. So I wasn't sure of the style actually, <laughs> the architectural style. So I've also removed part of the front deck and instead did like a fake balcony, well, not really a fake, a balcony. That I've put a door to access it. And I've used the fence, that fence from uh, Let Night, um, to give it a bit, I don't know, quirky style. I, again, I wasn't sure about the style, but then I've used windows where I have the square ones. I've used windows also from Let Night, and I think they're kind of a callback to that fence. So I was just happy with that because it was a bit difficult to find windows <laughs> um, for the house. I, I wasn't sure which one to use there. So meeting the household and the sims living there did help a lot, <laughs> uh, even more for the interior design, because um, I think that's uh, Fiona's house. I think it's hinted at in the in the family bio, and I was actually at first a bit surprised because the inside of the house, um, a lot of uh, it's the men. Hue, the, the main color scheme is more or less yellow, and um, yellow is Moni's favorite color. 
and uh, um, uh, Fiona and River's uh, favorite color is Irish green. So I was a bit surprised that, um, but then, for instance, the kitchen is yellow. Um, well, the, the walls, I think, maybe the counters are. And, um, and then I realized that Molly, <laughs> uh, Fiona's best friend, is actually a good cook. Well, it, she doesn't have the trait, but she has quite a few points in the, in the cooking skills. So I, I was like, oh, okay, so she's the one cooking for the family, I suppose. So I made the kitchen more into uh, her image, let's say, uh, with her in mind. And the other parts of the house more with um, the, for, in for instance, bookworm trait of um, Fiona, of Fiona's, and uh, the fact that River here is a bit of a perfectionist and she also has the neat uh, trait, uh, while both Molly and her daughter Sandy um, are quite messy, <laughs> they are slobs. <laughs> so starting with the kitchen, which as I've said I made a bit more uh, with Molly in mind, um, and I've um, actually uh, moved it around the kitchen so it was uh, near Molly's bedroom, but now it's in that corner here next to the balcony, so I with access to the balcony, and the balcony I've used uh, to have, since it's very small, uh, like very narrow, um, I've used it for storing um, aromatic plants, so I've put like two, like some basil, and I don't remember the other one. No, the one, they are both from um, um, University Life. So, just like for other, um, for the other rooms, all the other rooms, I've, I've tried to give a bit of a more modern twist to the um, pieces of furniture. So, even though some of them are still on the rustic side, I've tried to pair them up with more modern ones. It is also the room where I've put the second soaring uh, ceiling, since there are supposed to be at least two. Uh, so we have like the entryway, as it used to be, and um, now it's on that part of the house uh, where it's a high ceiling too, so that it fits the description. <laughs> then I tackled the hallway and living room, uh, so did kind of a uh, divider there with a half wall, so the, the hallway is a bit more um, delineated um, that way. Also um, here, removing the windows and I'm using the, that window from late night. I was unsure for the, with the look, but I like that the taller, the higher part here is a bit of a callback from, um, to the fence I'm using um, for the balcony part. But I, I wanted shutters, and there are shutters uh, for that type of windows in the game. Oh, also in the hallway I did that pretend dresser or armoire. I really wish we had those types uh, in the game because I really, I think they are quite contemporary. And I've seen them like everywhere. Like you put these big ones like in the entryway, and then you can put the your coats there. Uh, shoes and they are also in the bedrooms. So yeah, I've, I've built one. <laughs> it's a DIY one, um, but it's not. I haven't put um, uh, what's the name the the real uh, dresser there, so that you can't really use it. It's just for show there. Also in the living room corner, did a small uh, TV corner uh, with uh, the toddler uh, activity table there. I've removed a few toys, a, a few skill building toys, the two other ones, because I thought it was a bit too much in the house. It's not as if uh, it was daycare. So I wasn't sure about the color um, scheme to use there, but then I've uh, put that painting from Pets. It's a hidden image. So you, you need a, a modded uh, file to have access to it. But I, I'm, I'm actually going to put one for up for download uh, soon. Um, I've done like not a tutorial because 
just to show you the way I accent them and also put um, the fight for download there. Uh, okay, so then doing Molly and Sandy's bedroom was so much fun because both are, are like they are very sloppy. <laughs> so I've put a bit of a mess in there. So it's not the, the prettiest bedroom, but yeah, a lot of fun. Also, I've tried to keep like for instance the the cow prints. Uh, so there are, uh, there are like three pieces of furniture with that. So uh, I've tried to keep either the the piece or the um, the the prints. Uh, so for instance, I've, I've replaced the chair, but I've used the same pattern on the replacement chair. But I've kept the lamp, I think, and also the toy box. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, quite the messy bedroom. I did a, a dresser there, though it's not a usable one, um, but I haven't added a hamper, so they are kind of a... they do have an excuse for the pies of dirty laundry. <laughs> then there is uh, River's bedroom. So River, uh, she's an artist, and since the furniture here was also quite rustic-like, country-like, I went with that... Um, those frames I really like from Pets, but the, the ones, the images you, you have there on, on the, those uh, sketches of uh, horses, they are actually a hidden swatch for the, that painting, that, uh, those frames. Um, it's uh, the one of the silhouettes of uh, dogs, I think, the, original, the default one. Too. But yeah, I really like that they were like, sketches and same thing for the frames from Supernatural. Of the people, so I'm, I'm like, okay, the principal, uh, a main source of, um, I'm an influence when she's drawing that might be like people and horses. So I went there and decorated a bedroom with that in mind. Then there is Fiona's bedroom, so here I went more practical, and also Fiona is said to be like to try and find more sustainable ways uh, to live her life, I think, something like that. So I thought that maybe she would get the eco-friendly, attractive, um, playing with ambitions. Uh, I made like a desk area for her, and I wanted something because she's a handy, so she's a tinkerer, and I, I thought maybe I had something to pretend she's tinkering at her desk. So at first I had the domino table, but then I was like, oh no, you need to be two people to play with that. So instead I've hidden inside the desk the chessboard, and uh, so she can play chess and we can pretend that she's actually tinkering at her desk. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, then uh, um, doing the, I'll say the main bathroom, but I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, one of the bathrooms, oh, the clean one, because the other one, yeah, let's see, it's not that clean. <laughs> um, so this one is um, Fiona's and uh, Rivers. So it's uh, next to both uh, bedrooms. Uh, it's um, attached to Fiona's bedroom and River uh, just has to cross the hallway from her bedroom. So I've tried to keep the yellow, some, some yellow, um, but yeah, I've put it in more neutral colors there. And then uh, this one is the bathroom next to Molly's bedroom and now near the garage. So uh, again, I've tried to keep a few things. So I think I've, I've kept the tiled walls, but just in the, in the bathtub shower corner. And then the, the flooring is pretty much the, the original one. Then I um, did uh, a bit more in the backyard, so uh, furnished a bit more the deck. The th um, those chairs were there. I've just changed the placement for some of them and uh, the grill is the original one. Then I did a sort of, how do you call that, trellis uh, over the, the part of the deck so that it would be a bit more covered from the sun and uh, yeah, worked a bit more on the deck area and also added <laughs> A small uh, patch in the garden uh, or in the backyard for uh, uh, vegetable gardens since where uh, um, some vegetables and um, 
on the side yard, you know, at the beginning. So I've put them in the, in the backyard. Now, not that many of them, but I haven't added any. But I'm thinking that the Sims can do that <laughs> if they wish to. So, oh yeah, Fiona is um, a vegetarian. So uh, maybe she, she wants to start um, a small garden there. Then the finishing touch, so start rearranging a few more things, added um, aromatic plants um, in the balcony corner. I've also added a trash can in the corner of the backyard to act as a pretend um, compost bin. So here is the result. Quite different from the original one, though I haven't changed that many things. I mean, mostly the, the roof and uh, replaced the windows and doors and added the garage. Okay, that's actually <laughs> quite a few things. <laughs> so, the back here. With a few items to, to take advantage of uh, the nice backyard, nice sized backyard. And uh, the deck. So then back to the front of the house. Let's get inside. First, uh, on the right of the en entryway, uh, the kitchen and uh, dining lunch corner with access to the balcony, quite narrow, <laughs> with chamomile on the side and this one might be basil, I think view from the other side the living space so the soaring ceiling is not there <laughs> it's on the other side now there is a desk corner and still the activity table for, for the toddlers then here, instead of having the chessboard in the main room, I have um, the domino table since I can place two uh, chairs there. That door here leads to a very narrow corridor I made uh, to have access to the garage, but also um, to Molly and to the guest bedroom's uh, attached bathroom, which is not that attached, but almost. Then the guest bedroom now, uh, Molly's bedroom, so it's quite messy. <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> I wouldn't sleep there though. <laughs> so there, there is a still a corner for Sandy Scrib. There is access now uh, to the deck through that door, and that door on the right leads to River's uh, bedroom. She's, um, she has the artistic trait. And I like to pretend that her uh, desk was made by her mom, since her mom uh, has pretty much the same one in her bedroom. Here we have a small reading nook. The first door was bathroom, second door Fiona's, and the third we won't visit, but it's the laundry. So the bathroom first. So I've got hints of yellow, but since it's not their favorite color, I, I, I didn't go full yellow bathroom there. So that door is to Fiona's bedroom, where there is a similar desk uh, to the one in River's bedroom. The other side of the room. 
Oh, also in the desk there is a chessboard. Usable. <laughs> to pretend Fiona is um, tinkering something. So, overview. Here, here you have a gate leading to the backyard with garden. That bench was already there, an easel there, then the closing line here and access to the back deck with the grill. Back to the front, so the garage here, there is an access to the very narrow corridor. But first, um, back to the main entrance here, so it's a double door. And then the entryway, the kitchen with this very narrow balcony here. Then back inside, um, the entryway, the living room here, and game room corner. Game corner. Then back to the narrow corridor with the bathroom, the guest bedroom, Molly's bedroom, Sandy's bedroom. <laughs> Back to the deck, here we have Reva's bedroom, there is another door here. Here the bathroom with a door leading to Fiona's bedroom, the door here, and here it's the small uh, laundry corner. And that's it for that house. So it wasn't my favorite to do, but it was okay. Um, so yep, I'm, I'm done with the, that district for now. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do next, uh, but that will be for a uh, next video. I'll see you then. A bientôt!